So this is a place value grid, which a lot of your children might use in key stage one, but also in key stage two, particularly if their place value is not strong. Um, with a place value grid, there are different variants of it. So you may see some that have a decimal point like this. You might see some with it on the line, different um, arrangements of it. But essentially, we look at a decimal point here and then onto the left of the decimal, is where we consider ones or units if we're old school tens hundreds then we get into thousands and ten thousands etc uh, because we're going to be considering um decimal numbers in a, another short video we're going to concentrate now on the right side of the decimal where we start to look at tenths hundredths thousandths etc you might also see a place value grid then also split into a grid like this which on squared paper when children are working in school helps them understand um, the place of numbers the place value that's why it's called place value because it's about the place of numbers I'm also going to use the decimals to split into rows here so you can see how this will work and consider various numbers okay let's change color and let's put a number on here let's think of 10. oh not a very good color mrs b running out we're gonna have the number 10 one and a zero one ten no ones in ten okay if we multiply 10 by 10 10 times 10, we should know, most of us know, that's 100. If we write in the number 100 here, 100, no 10s, no 1s, what we can see has happened to the number 10, it's got bigger, it's 10 times bigger, we've got this extra zero here, haven't we? What's happened is that those numbers have moved one place to the left. That, happened, that happens when we multiply a number. So a number that's multiplied the numbers or digits jump one place to the left when we divide so let's come back to the original colour when we divide guess what happens the numbers move to the right so divide 10 by 10 moves one place this way so we're going to go 10 the 0 belongs here and the 1 belongs here 10 divided by 10 is 1 we don't need that 0 because one is represented by itself but what it's showing is that place value how those digits have moved left for multiplication and right for division okay let's look at the number 15 15 multiplied by 10 equals okay so 15 on the place value grid multiplying remember we move digits to the left so one place this way for each digit one moves to the hundreds five moves to the tens we've got nothing in the one so we represent that with that zero 15 times 10 is 150 here we go so let's try it the opposite way then 15 divided by 10 can you predict what the answer is going to be let's remember digits move to the right 15 five moves one place to the right in the tenths one moves one place to the right in the ones so 15 divided by 10 is 1.5 that's where the number after the decimal is important. Excellent. So hopefully you've had a better understanding of multiplying and dividing numbers by 10 using the place value grid. And you can remember M for move up, D for divide, moving down the decimal scale. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a better understanding if you are helping your children, uh, grown-ups or for children who need that reinforcement and just a reminder of how to use a place value grid by times in and dividing and just using 10 and we can explore hundreds and other numbers in another video don't forget to like subscribe and share folks